Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Hand Printed and in this video I'm going to talk to you about screen printing inks, specifically about screen printing onto dark fabrics. Now standard screen printing inks for fabrics look like this. These are the pre-mixed ones that we have. They're all water-based. We only have water-based inks here at Hand Printed. Um, we have Permacet and we have Speedball. Now all of these inks can be used to screen print onto fabric, but they are the standard inks for screen printing onto fabric. These standard screen printing inks for fabric are translucent, which means they let a little bit of the colour underneath show through. Now that's absolutely fine if you're printing onto pale colours or on white, but as soon as you start printing onto bright colours and dark colours, that colour underneath is going to show through it, kind of like looking through a coloured film, and it's either going to amend the colour or the colour is going to almost disappear altogether. That's when these opaque inks come in handy. Because they're fully opaque, they won't let any of the colour underneath through, which means that you can print a bright yellow like this onto black and it will still appear nice and bright yellow. Permacet do a super cover range. They have the white lids on and they are opaque screen printing inks. They are a lot heavier. They're a little more expensive, but they are perfect for screen printing onto dark fabrics. You can also get metallics, um, Speedball do a lovely metallic opaque range like gold and silver and there's a few other colours in that range that are opaque and Permacet's metallic inks are opaque as well. I'm going to show you a couple of examples printing onto white and to black fabric. I'm going to start off by printing with a standard yellow and a supercover opaque yellow. So I have here a, an A443T screen. I've taped it all up just to reveal two strips here of open mesh so I can show you printing. I've got a padded surface here with some white cotton and some black cotton pinned onto it. Now I might not get a great print over this join, but I just want to show you the difference of the same colour on the two types of fabric here. So the ones I'm going to test out are Speedball Fabric Ink. Now this is a standard screen printing ink, so it's not opaque, and this is in yellow. Now it's worth noting here that Speedball also do a brilliant process colour range in a process yellow, cyan and magenta, but they are even more translucent. So this yellow is going to be a little bit more opaque than the process yellow, which is going to be even paler on the dark fabric, but it does print beautifully on pale coloured fabrics. So that's my standard. And then here I've got the Permacet Aqua Super Cover in mid yellow. You can see that it's thick it's clinging to the edges there. This yellow, the Speedball yellow is much runnier, although the colours do vary in consistency. The colour is very similar, so we'll see the difference that we get when we print them. So if I put out a little of the standard yellow, you can see that it holds its shape. It's not very runny. The black tends to be a little runnier than this. And then my super cover yellow is thick and I'm just going to put a line of it at the top of my rectangle so we can already see here a big difference between these two inks on the white both are nice and bright they're slightly different shades of yellow but you can still see that they're solid and bright on that white cotton and then as we head over onto the black cotton this yellow here has started to be taken over by that black underneath it's a little uneven because printing over the seam but even when we look at the flat section it's really disappearing into that black whereas the super cover is standing out nice and strong again it's a little uneven over the over the seam but it's really nice and strong on this black here now, just because this super cover ink has come out very well on both the white and the black doesn't necessarily mean it's just a better choice overall. The ink is a lot thicker, and like I said before, it is a little more expensive, but it's also going to dry faster in your screen, which means you're going to be at greater risk of getting blockages in the screen, especially when doing any fine details. Because the standard ink is thinner, that means it can go through different meshes more easily. You could use a 77T mesh or even a 90T if you wanted to print on fabric with fine detail. But I wouldn't advise using the Supercover ink 
on the finer meshes like 90T, it's going to be really hard to push it through that mesh and it's more likely to dry in it. Because the super cover dries faster, you're going to have to make sure that you flood your screen in between prints because it's going to help keep the screen wet and help to stop those blockages. You'll have to work a little bit faster when using this ink and sometimes you have to put a little bit more welly behind your prints, you have to press a little harder to get the ink through. So in general, if you're printing onto light fabrics, using a standard screen printing ink for fabric like the standard Permaset or the standard Speedball will be best. And in general, when printing onto dark fabrics, it's great to use the Permaset Super Cover or the Speedball Opaques, which are all have a metallic sheen to them. The Super Cover inks are also going to be a little bit stiffer on the fabric. The standard inks tend to have a little bit of a softer handle when they're completely dry. Now, printing with white inks can sometimes be a little bit of an exception. I've got Permaset Standard White here and Permaset Super Cover White. You can see the white lid versus the black lid. Now, white inks, both the Permaset and the Speedball equivalent, are semi-opaque, which means that they will show up on a dark coloured fabric. They may not be as bright or as crisp as the Super Cover version, but sometimes using a standard white can be a good option depending on what project you've got, because they're slightly easier to print with. I'll show you printing with both of these inks on the black and white fabric so you can see. So here's my standard Permaset, and this will be very similar for the standard speedball white ink they work in much the same way you can see it's still quite thick the white even though this is the standard one it's not very runny at all and the super cover is extremely thick in the white really really solid it's very heavy as well so this is going to be tricky to push through a mesh this one wouldn't be ideal for finer meshes like 77 or 90T or for really fine exposed greens designs it's going to be trickier to get that through. I've made sure to press nice and hard when printing that super cover especially. So here you can see the super cover and the standard screen printing ink for fabric. You can still see the white here on the standard ink a lot more than you could see the yellow when that was printed in standard but the super cover ink is much more solid and much brighter. So it depends on the look you would like to go for. The super cover inks are going to be a little bit stiffer on the fabric, but they might have a little bit more stretch than your standard inks. But having this much white show up on a dark fabric might be an option for your project if you don't want to use a super cover ink because it still does show. So it does depend on the coverage that you want. If you have lots of solid areas, then you might want to go for a super cover but if you're doing something finer, then a standard white screen printing ink might be a good option. It's going to be easier to get through those lines. It's not going to dry as fast on the screen and it's still going to show up quite nicely. So if I put all my four prints together here, you can see the standard white, the super cover white, the standard yellow and the super cover yellow. The Now that it's dried, the standard yellow is all but completely disappeared into the fabric. You can hardly see it at all, but the one on the white still looks great. The super cover on the yellow is still nice and bright and strong as it is on the white. The super cover white is still nice and strong. And the standard white, although showing a little bit of the black through, still shows up nice and strongly. Make sure you're cleaning your screen as soon as you finish printing to avoid any blockages. And flooding the screen in between each print can help the screen stay wetter for longer. Please note that because these inks are all water-based, they will need heat setting, either with a flash dryer or with an iron is completely fine. In order for them to be heat set and washable, you need to wait until the print is completely dry. So usually the next day is better if you're using an iron. Use the iron on the hottest setting that the fabric will allow and iron over until the fabric feels too hot to the touch on the print, then it will be washable. So hopefully this little demo has helped you to figure out which ink is going to be right for you and your project. Happy printing.